How's my audio? Am I live? Do I need to close out of Twitch entirely? Is it just my Twitch app is busted? Hello, hello. Okay, I think I'm good. I think I'm good. Let's try this. All right, yeah, everything's good now. Um, okay, so that was weird. Had to restart uh, Twitch app entirely. At the very least, this puts me up to like four parts for the Evil Within playthrough. So I mean, like, I'm not going to complain about that necessarily. Though it is going to be a weird stopping point. So hello and welcome back to the Shark Stream. Um, had a weird technical difficulty there that I had to restart Twitch on my Xbox before starting this whole sequence back up. But such is life. Sometimes we gotta use the hand we're dealt. Oh, hold on. Are you Hoffman, wait. This, yet? this is my chance to make up for what I did to Lily. And all the others I helped put in STEM. So no, I don't regret it. Entirely subjective whether or not you think this makes up for everything that Hoffman is responsible for. And there we go. I can't believe you blocked my shots, Hoffman. This is the worst thing you've ever done. God, really? Ow. Hold on. Hold on. Oh, fuck. Okay. We're in a bad place right now. Med kit. There we go. We're almost there. I can see the door, and there's the tower. Goddamn Doom Fortress. See, shit like this is why I should have left aim assist on. <laughs> Instead of thinking, I don't need aim assist. I'm a big, strong gamer man. The truth is that I don't know what I'm doing. Ow. Okay, I got him. I got it. We got to go now. That's no good. And thus, everybody who isn't named Sebastian Castellanos has died. Like you do. Oh, 
I'm sorry, Yukiko. I'll make him pay. I promise. Yeah, you will. After all of this, I'm the only one left, but he's not gonna stop me. So we got some stuff to pick up. I completely forgot I had this axe. I probably should have used that. Don't know why I insisted on shooting everything. Cats are playing. My cats have been doing a real good job of sort of realizing when they've gone a little bit too far playing sometimes. Because it can actually be particularly easy to figure out whether your cats are like actually fighting or if they're just play fighting. Um, and thankfully, you know, keep an eye out for those signs when you can. Um, thankfully, uh, Ragnarok and Calamity have been getting along very well, which both me and Natalie are very happy about, because we were worried that Calamity uh, and Ragnarok wouldn't get along, obviously, because that's always kind of a concern when you're introducing a new cat. Um, but they've been getting along really well. Natalie is, like, chuckling about something over here. She's watching some TF2 video. She can't hear me. She's got her big headphones on that basically block out all other sounds. Beauty dee dee. This time it's different. You're not getting away. Alright, so I think this isn't progression. This is like collectibles in a mirror. Yep. We're going to pop into the mirror real quick because we have... Sebastian has thoughts about the fates of O'Neill, uh, Sykes, and Hoffman that we're going to go ahead and get some insight on. I didn't want to kill him. But Theodore left me no choice. I told you to be careful with that thing, Sykes. Hope you made it out. I'll never forget the sacrifice you made, Hoffman. So one thing I haven't really shown off is... Because obviously, with the shooting range... Um, you see the... Oh, what? You, you see the one style of shooting range minigame the gallery mode, but you don't really get a look at the chain attack mode unless you actually choose it. So we're going to go ahead and just like... Uh, this one. There we go. I just want to kind of show this off a little bit. 
Cause it's it's pretty it's a pretty neat little mini game, honestly. Anticipated, but you can sharpen your skills a bit more. All right, so we did pretty good. I do want to give that another try. as like you get kind of further along it's a little bit harder to kind of rack it up unfortunately maybe I lost my edge so we didn't even do as good that time unfortunately doing a little bit better this time it looks like Gosh. This one I'm unfortunately not quite as good at. Still got it. Well, 
Like, we got a better score that time, but, like, I'm not going to keep going with this. I'm not particularly good at that one, but, you know, whatever. If you ever... That's the one that if you beat that one, if you get the highest score, if you get such a high score that, like, you get all the reward tiers, that's the one that, like, once you finish it, Sebastian is just like, I should probably get back to finding my daughter. <laughs> Which is as good a reward for that sort of thing as anything, honestly. Tacit acknowledgement that, hey, maybe you should do the thing that you're supposed to be doing. <laughs> You know, the thing the entire plot hinges upon. Speaking of doing the thing that the entire plot hinges upon, that's what we're going to do right now. We're going to go kick Theodore's ass. Ask? Like oh no, I don't have enough stars. Damn it. You're not gonna get to me. Hi Malik, welcome to the Shark Stream. Uh Easter egg cutscene. Do you mean the one with the evil within two name drop? Because if that's the one that you mean, yes, I did get that. Mm -hmm. Yeah, there's a couple things that you could mean. You could mean the one that, like, if you uh, get all of the upgrades, there's, like, the fireworks and the confetti that goes off, which, unfortunately, I can't get that one anymore, because I've already gotten all the upgrades. This seems bad. An egg drop, almost soupy in consistency. <laughs> Very nice. Got him. Okay. I feel better about myself now. So, like, you can shoot that to freeze a guy if you want. That could be pretty helpful. I think this just opens the gates. Yep. Now, of course, it also spawns dudes. So that kind of sucks. But, like, what are you gonna do? A lot of these fire jets remind me of, like, some of the environments in Evil Within 1, especially where you fought Laura. Oh, shit. Pardon me, sir. That worked out really well for me. Uh, except for that guy. I'm a 
little embarrassed that that took me three shots, but what are you going to do? That's the first instance we get of that little bit of lore. If you think I'm gonna help an asshole like you take over assholes like them, you're even crazier than you look. So Theodore has clued us in to the idea that everyone in Union's minds are connected to or everyone in Mobius's minds are connected to the Union system via the chips in their heads, which I don't know, seems like maybe a dangerous thing for an organization with this, this much power to do, but then I'm not a megalomaniacal asshole, so what do I know? I'm just a regular motherfucker. Oh, shit, okay. Cat's got a case of the zoomies. Mitty, can I help you? You're standing on my keyboard. Hey. Can I just... Let me just... Whoop. There you go. Open my channel back up. It is, in fact, Kitty Cat Crazy Go Nuts Hours. I think, isn't there a flamethrower guy walking around back here? Guess not. One of these areas has a flamethrower guy rock walking around in the background. I don't think you actually fight him, but, like, he dare. He coming up, he coming up, he coming up, he dare. You got your right on you. You got. Oh, it's right here, isn't it? No. No, I guess not. Oh well. I don't know what I'm thinking about. I barely know what I'm talking about half the time. And yet, here we are all the same. Ah. Good old evil within one mechanics. Fucking monsters roaming around here just like what was that? Metal Gear Solid 1 guard voice guard voice. What was that noise? I don't That joke was a little long in the tooth. Natalie used that phrase the other day when we were playing. Luigi's Mansion 3, and I have not been able to stop thinking about it. Long in the tooth. Long in the tooth is how I would describe the new Nemesis design. Because he's got long teeth. And they freak me out a little bit. Not as much as my cats are freaking out right now. Are you guys okay? You're kind of all over the place. Going a little nuts. Is he here? There he is! I knew he was around here somewhere. Oof, ouch. My skin guts. Dares think they can speak to me. Uh, 
Huh? Oh shit. Hey boys. Shit. Okay, you know what? Oh, oh, oh. Hold on. Hold on. Everybody stand really still while I just flail widely. Wild widely? I guess I am flailing widely, but I'm also flailing wildly. That is... that is the words I was trying to use. Are you guys done going nuts? Are you still going nuts? They're still going a little nuts. This is all very similar to the shit that we went through trying to fight Laura and the people within one. Though not quite as nerve-wracking at the very least. Let's see if we can just... I'm doing this for a reason, I promise. It will become very apparent once this next sequence starts. And backing up. Hello, sir. Ow, my guts. Fuck you. Fuck you. Did not appreciate that one bit. Fuck you. How dare you not die to that one explosion? The audacity! And then you go back here and you realize, oh, there was, like, stuff around here for me to use against them, and it's just like, well... Circumvented all of that. Let's go. I think I talked about this... Oh. Still don't have enough stars. Maybe if I could just like back jump. I'm not making any deals with you. Oh. Friend. It worked. I think I talked about this during the last Evil Within stream about how like every so often I'll play a game that like gives me a big area to fight a dude in and I'll just hunker down in like a corner and just take pot shots at them, and then, like, after I've killed them, I walk around the area, and I find, like, oh, there were, like, 15 grenades that they expected me to use against this guy. <laughs> oh, I appreciate your, um, uh, overconfidence in my strategical skills, but really, I just kind of shot him a bunch. I just wasted ammo. That was my strategy. <laughs> Your mistake, really. I have no choice. I am this man's world. I will find your wife, and I will murder her in front of your dog. Who will suffer dearly at my hands as I use the power. Not if okay. I kill you first. You're not exactly endearing me to your side, man. I'll keep coming back until one of us is dead. Come to me, then. Yay, carnage! Alright, what do we got around here that I can just kind of... Yoink. Fusely. 
I guess I just go. I don't think there's really too much more in this area. Like, we can go down into this pit. This gross blood pit. Like, that's fine. I don't wanna, though. I'm just gonna go do the best boss fight in the game. Like, Stefano is really good, but, like, this is the one that really got me when I played this the first time. I got hyped as if shit for this boss fight. Despair, you wish, a taste of despair you shall receive. You did this to me, Dad. You didn't save me. Let's see how this plays out. It's okay, sweetie. I'm gonna make it right again. I love you so much, Lily. I always have. And I always will. And I'm gonna save you this time. I promise. That daddy's gotta go murder this guy. I Intense see dad stare. Some of your guilt and pain. In some of it. But the depth of your past traumas is vast. I know everything about you. I know what lies beneath. You have a deep well of fear from which to draw. You've seen many horrors, and they still haunt your memories. Remember where this all began. Remember Beacon. <gasps> yeah. Like, for real, when this happened... You remember it all. I was so excited because I saw this and I was just like, yes, boss rush time. It really just kind of runs the gamut of like iconic enemies in that first one. Like, the sadist entirely because it was the first encounter in the the first big encounter in the game obviously like this fucking hallway just kind of in general And you just think back to how Seabass reacted to a lot of these guys in the first game, and it's just like, this is very cathartic. After the sadist was your boy Boxman. Yeah, that's still so good. Oh, shit. 
I'm immediately fucking this up. But of course, we know how to handle the boxman. With harpoon bolts. There he goes. Bound to pop eventually. Oh. Not 100% certain where he's spawning. But I do know that there's two now, I think? Unless I'm super wrong and there's actually three. I don't necessarily remember this encounter particularly well. Oh, there's one. Haha! And then, of course, after Boxman, just to complete the trifecta. Motherfucking Laura. Oh, so good. And just like Laura, you can brute force this. And I'll do it again. Um, if you have the uh, flamethrower, you can actually kill her with that. Um, but the way that you're meant to do this is essentially to trap her here. And then get the... Oh shit, I'm actually in a bad place for this right now. Oh, not so much. Whoop. Oh, fuck. Okay. I think what I actually want to use is I actually want to use the shock. I don't know where she is. Oh, there she is. Oh, shit. Whoop. Where'd she go? Oh, she got stuck on a wall. Oh, shit. Oh. Okay. So, thankfully, she doesn't just have straight up a one hit kill. Uh, this time around. Hey, guess what? What? Really? Oh, okay. There's something I'm forgetting here. Oh, yeah. There's another one. Oh, I hope that despawns you. Nope! <laughs> Super did not despawn her. That's fine. This is actually not worth it. Okay, time to go. And then I think... Which side is it on? It's on this one. Oh, can I... Does this count? The answer is no. It super doesn't.
Try again. There we go. But Warmer 2000 is quite a few more revisions to go through. <laughs> it's very inconvenient to use. But overall, I remember that being like the hypest part of my first playthrough. What are you? What else have you got? <laughs> uh, spike through the chest, I guess. Oh, hey, it's Myra. Myra? She must stay safe. I will protect Lily from anyone who wants to take her. You did it. Theodore is dead. Let's go home. The power of the core is mine. I guess he got the point. Lily is safe now. Where is she? Let's get her and get out of here. Myra out here causing the milk apocalypse. Ricky, what are you doing? Milk. Jesus. <laughs> I don't hear a thing except for gamer milk. <laughs> I didn't even say gamer milk. I said milk apocalypse. <laughs> now she can't hear me, of course. Natalie is deaf to all but gamer milk. God, that caught me off guard. Where is... Is that him down there? That looks like it's him. Oh my god, I'm dying. I'm actually dying. Oof, boyo. Oh. Nutritionists be like Fortnite. You gotta love it when they get to the point of the game where they go up to their environmental designers and they're just like, hey, just go fucking nuts. Like, look at this thing. Got a fucking Mario Galaxy black hole off and the fucking milk NATO over here. Are you, like, are you still going? <laughs> Just milk? And strong pink bones. <laughs> I'm just like not even I'm not even gonna acknowledge it, honestly. <laughs>
Natalie, please. Spare me. <laughs> You're welcome. I don't know. I forget where to go. Hold on. I'm lost. I'm lost in the sauce. I'm lost in the milk. Where do I go? Lost in the milk. Where will he go? Is it? Okay, I found it. What is this? Mural pile of secrets. Oh my god. Myra? <clears throat> it's over. Let's get Lily and leave this place before we're stuck here forever. We can have our family back. Please. I know you're still in there. Stop it! Damn it! You have to listen to me! Myra! What's wrong? I can't. I have to protect Lily. Already dead, Myra. Stefano can't hurt her. Neither can Theodore. They're dead. Yes. Good. Go. Sebastian, now. Leave. No, I'm not leaving you and Lily in this place! <laughs> Myra! Shit. What is she trying to do? Shit. Sebastian Castellano's voice. Shit. Sebastian busting through. Ba boom. Secrets. Secret collect? Secret collect? I don't even need these. I'm just hoarding them at this point. Gage, why do you keep getting brain juice and weapon parts if you don't need them? Number go up. That's why. So this is where we start seeing the effect of all of those people turned into like waxy statues that we saw back when uh, we were going through Stefano's house. 
They were created by Myra, and she turns them into enemies in her thrall. I gotta get rid of these things. Maybe then I can get to her. Where'd that guy go? Hello? Sir? Y'all mind if I just- oh, hold on. Y'all mind if I just- ooh, that looked like it hurt. Give him a second. He's still burning. What was that noise? Damn, one right. million goops. Yeah. I hope she hasn't gone far. I've got a million brain juice. That I just I can't do anything with. But I keep collecting it because number go up. <laughs> Ugh, now this is all stuffy. Excuse me. Harpoon bolts. Gunpowder. No, oh, what was that? Gunpowder. Shotgun shell. Gun bullets. Myra, stop. Okay, there she goes. Whoops. Those feet hands. There really should be an achievement for getting one million called Please, you have other games to play. <laughs> How dare you suggest I play other games? <laughs> it's like you don't even know me at all. <laughs> oh shit. More of them? I don't have time for this. Oh. Oh shit. Stop it. Ah! Where'd you come from? God, you guys move deceptively fast. You know what? What am I doing? Fuck you. Description is, is unless you're practicing for speedruns, the one million upgrade points you have uh, you have are unwarranted. You have our permission to stop. <laughs> Fools. Doom does as he pleases. Toot. I'm going to do a bit of field crafting here. Against my better judgment, I'm I'm going to field craft. Field crafting, crafting a field. Yeah. All right. I mean, I just set some dumb achievements because they're too far gone from the 12 really hard ones that you'd get with a game. Honestly, I like it when uh, companies make just, like, really dumb achievements. Like, you had that one for, uh... Oh, I guess I didn't need to make those. You had that one for, um... God, what was it? Stanley Parable that only recently became achievable. Where it's just like, you stop... You don't play the game for five years. P 
people are only just recently getting that because it's been five years since that game came out. Oh god, there's gonna be a bunch of shit going on here. Because we get this guy. Not her. Him. Mighty, mighty boss time. Oh, God. Oh, God. Did I miss that? I missed that. Oh, no. Ah, shit. Why am I not sprinting? I was hitting the sprint button. Shit. Ow. I don't appreciate that. Oh, fuck. Alright. That's fine. Is this the part I end up dying on? Shit. Because if so, that'd be really embarrassing. You know what? I should just really... just. And he's down. Your shame now in slow mo. <laughs> okay, now to switch to this. I could use the Magnum for the last boss, but like I feel like that wouldn't be nearly as cinematic. I'm gonna pick that one back up. I like how it like landed and sent out its fucking tripwire. That's Myra! good. Where are you going? I'm glad that it did that. I won't let you hurt Lily. I'm not trying to hurt Lily. I'd never do that. I love her. Your love can't protect her. Only I can do that. I told you to leave. That doesn't mean I have to listen. What are you, a cop? sucked into the milk void. Sebastian's done an awful lot of falling in this game, I've been noticing. I'm really into this modern trend of survival horror games with really high quality art assets. It's good! Like, Evil Within 2 and Resident Evil 7 were better than 2017 deserved, honestly. Out here in the milk wastes. Hello, Ragnarok. How are you? Do you need to sniff me before you let me pet you? 
our house. That's exactly what it is, Sebastian. I don't know why you're so super. Well, she must be there. I can't stop now. I can't say I don't know why you'd be so surprised to see that you've been there at least twice now, but like, also, stems just some weird shit, so like, whatever. So it should be each of these. Ragnarok, are you guarding my phone? Seems like you are. Start learning about what Myra's plan the whole time was. I promise, Myra. I guess this is goodbye. Myra was planning on becoming the core? Why? Perhaps we will find out, Sebastian, if you just, you know, fucking wait, have some patience. the last one's right up there but we're gonna go ahead and stop in here real quick I was trying to come up with something to say that wasn't Bazinga, but Bazinga's one ended up coming out. I'm so sorry. Aww, sleepy kitty. Maggie, is that you? Are you a sleepy kitty? You look like a sleepy kitty. Got your eyes closing over here and everything. I love the office being right there, sans mirror. Well, I mean, the mirror's right there, but yeah, it's, it's kind of neat. It's just like the back wall of the office is busted out into the milk wastes. And can't help but notice, you can't do the shooting range anymore. You can do upgrades, crafting. I'm going to do some crafting, actually, probably. <laughs> uh, 
I don't think I need to really. I'm gonna get at least one more medical syringe. It would have been excellent if the entire first room was coated in ash. All right, let's go fight the final boss. But bam, fuck that door. I'm sure once we get up to the house, we'll have a nice, rational, calm discussion about this whole thing, and everything will be just fine. Sebastian tired. Oh, hey, there she is. Hey, Maiwa, I really like your Assassin's Creed costume. Is it you? Sebastian. Yeah, that's me. Why are you fighting me, Myra? You don't understand. This is our new home. Lily will be safe here. Happy. Free from fear. Free from pain. Yeah, the most anyone did in either game was nickname him Seb. This isn't real. But Seabass is more fun to say. real life. And so is love. If she stays in here, she won't live a life free from fear. Because she won't be living a life at all. You don't understand. The things they did to her. I can protect her. No. Please, let me take her out of here. Let's do it together. We can be a family again. No, I won't let anyone take her from me. No, please, Myra. We still have time. We can leave. I am not going to leave Lily here. Oof. My feelings. Tries. Must die! Don't make me do this!
Final boss. Mega milk. All things considered, this is a really sick final boss design. You hurt me. You'll hurt her too. I won't let you. God damn it, Myra, stop this! Think about what you're doing! Oof. Do this to you, Myra. Oh, okay. Ow, my guts. Ow, your guts. Shit. It was right in front of you. I don't know what she actually means by that. It was right in front of you. Um, basically, she's referring to the fact that Sebastian didn't believe her about Liz Lily being kidnapped. So, like, essentially... Essentially, the proof was right in front of you. That's nasty. Oh, shit. Yeah. Gross. Nasty. Ow. Stop me. Please, Myra. I'm gonna try. I know you're still in there. Gotta stop. Ow. This nope, not that one. This one. Must protect Lily. Think I got her. Love the way that thing moves, though. Honestly, that's some good fucking animation work. You can't escape me. Aha! All right, so I'm almost out of assault rifle ammunition. So now. We gotta pull out the big gun. I don't want to do this. I wasn't expecting that to go quite as fast as it did, but okay. I must protect. I love that she just gets more and more fucked up as this fight goes on. Whoop. There we go. Next 
expect that to be one shot. Okay. Yeah, I'm a star. And then just the way that she melts is so good. Like, fucking watch this. Watch the way the head droops. Like, that's so good. That's got so much weight to it. This is a good video game. I don't know if anyone has realized that at this at this point, like hours into the three hours into this stream. Myra, please. I'm so sorry. I didn't want to. No. I couldn't control myself. You did the right thing. <laughs> Thank you. I'm so glad you're alive. You have to take Lily. Get her out of here. I'm getting us all out of here. Come on. It's too far. Leave me. Just get Lily. Leave me. No, I won't leave you again. You have to. Go. I'll follow. I'll meet you there. Lily needs you now. I remember seeing this scene, I'm just like, oh, she's not, there's no way that she's going to be right behind me. She's not going to meet me there. She's going to die here. And I was half right. <laughs> Sebastian Castellanos, very good looking guy. Gotta get to the house. Oh, 
almost there. We get a series of very good transitions. And of course, Kidman. Literally the best character contact, in these sir. games. Where is he? We can't get an exact location. Wait! The core's been located. The marker is approaching her. Excellent. Instruct the marker on how to re-establish the core. I hate to be the bearer of bad news, sir, but it's too late for that. The environment has taken too much damage. Even with the core back in place, total collapse of Union is imminent. So be it. We still have STEM. We can start again. But we need the core. She's too valuable to abandon. Have the med team prepare for core extraction. How much time? Depends on how fast he can get her to the extraction point. Yeah, go for They're it. Close. Shouldn't be long. Med team in place and standing by. Once extracted, have the med team terminate the marker. He served his purpose. Yes, sir. Shit. Kid. Call your man and give him instructions. Well, I guess this is it, kid. Kid. Did you hear me? Yeah. I did. Strange hand waggle. Is that insubordination I'm sensing? Hand waggle. You can't kill him. Yes, we can. And we will. Once he's back in the real world, he'll become a liability. Now, call him and tell him where the extraction point is. Hand waggle. His dumb gestures Come are the now, best. Kid. He signed his death sentence the moment he entered STEM. Now, do as I've ordered, or you'll be signing yours as well. No. A shame that you'd attempt to betray us. I had such hope for you. Fucking fight off all these Agent Smiths. Not happening. You stand down. Somebody check on the administrator. Damn it. Damn. I'm not having a very good time aiming here. Kidman, unfortunately, doesn't have any of the various uh, upgrades that you've spent the entire game getting as Sebastian, so the sequence with her can be a little, little daunting. Oh god, really? Piece of shit. Try aiming for a body shot more along. There we go. All security Got him that time. To the control room. All security we need to hurry before more show up. Shit! And transition. Lily! She's gotta be in her room upstairs. So real quick, over here is where you can get one of the Bethesda collectibles. You get the vinyl uh, Boxman figurine. Just in case you want to play along at home. God, look how sweaty Sebastian is. He's got sweat all going down his back. Probably in his pits. I don't know. I don't know if he had time to put on fucking deodorant before he hopped into STEM. It's 
fucking screaming at this finale. Like, in my heart, I was whirling my shirt over my head. It's a good finale. Lily. My sweet little girl. Dad? It's me, Lily. I'm here. Is it really you? Shh. It's really me. I'm here to take it's you It's Super home. Me 64. You we're not home? No, baby. But we will be soon. So tired. Go back to sleep. When you wake up, we'll be safe again. Seabass's out here having like these very emotionally intense Myra. kind of like slow burn moments as he's leaving his I house and talking to Myra and shit. Let's get the hell out Meanwhile here. on the outside, I'm Kid is just fucking blasting the yes, shit out can. of dudes. I'll carry both of you if I have to. No. But I'm not Mobius has to be stopped. Screw Mobius. We've lost too much time to them already. We can get away, just the three of us. We'll go someplace where they'll never find us. There's nowhere to hide. They're everywhere. Lily will always be in danger, unless I destroy them. Okay, fine, I'll wait. Once Morbius is gone, It doesn't we'll... work that way, Sebastian. It can only be done from inside. STEM is more than just this place. All of Mobius are connected to it via the chips in their heads. Once I assume the power of the core, I can transmit a signal just as Union collapses. A signal that can take Mobius down once and for all. But we're finally together again. There's no other choice. This is part of the plan. It always has been. I'm sorry. Myra. Shh. Just promise to take care of the little one. Never let her forget how much her mother loved her. Myra. There's so much I want to say to you. I've been watching you all this time. I know how you've suffered, what they did to you, what I did to you. You didn't ask for any of this. And you've been into hell twice for it. It's time for you to leave now. To live the life that was taken from you. You too. Both of you. That's why I'm doing this. But there's no more time. You have to go now. Shit, man, that sucks. Warning, warning, Alpha One emergency. Warning, warning, Alpha One emergency. Shit! We gotta pin down! Shoot the oh, fuck. Oh shit. Grenades. They're not messing around. I don't think I've ever gotten that dialogue before. Oh, 
Fuck. He just took like three bullets. How he's still standing? Fuck you. Gotta get to the stem room. Just need to make it downstairs. All security personnel report to the stem room. Hang on, Sebastian. So Kidman doesn't really have a much in the way of like controls like Sebastian does. Simply because this is such a short sequence that you play with her. So like she doesn't have like crouching alternate. Um I hope this works, Myra. Uh what sort of looking for? Firearms. And she's just constantly running full tilt. She has far better aim in cutscene. Part of it, again, is due to the fact that I'm playing without aim assist right now. Uh, so it's kind of fucking me up a little bit. I probably should have gone with aim assist from the beginning, but eh, whatever. What are you doing, kid? Your actions will only result in your death. You must know... Oh, fuck off. We're in. You have such potential. You could have amassed such power, and now you choose to throw You it could all have amassed away. such why? shit. After all you've seen, all you've done, why the crisis of conscience now? Is it for the detective? For the child? No. It's for me. Yeah. Think about what you're doing, kid. STEM is needed. Imagine it. A unified consciousness for all mankind. No more wars. No more disparity. No more pain. No going back now. I hope you were right, Myra. And... Transition. Sebastian! Kidman, I've got her. Where do I go? Get to your room. All right. But Myra's staying behind. That transition was a little... So that one's a little... A little okay. bit rougher. We don't have much time. Counting on you, Kidman. So I don't think you can actually die in this sequence. Watch me die now that I've said that, but it's still a really cool We're sequence, just fucking escaping from the collapse of Union. Oh my god. <laughs> also I love that line read, just for the record. I love seeing the glare from the mirror off in the distance from, like, the room. That's really good. This is a good sequence. Raggy, I'm gonna need you not to walk across my lap right now. Father's trying to be good at video games, please. for your betrayal will be legendary. That's a pretty good threat, honestly. I'm going to be legendary, all right. Legendary for taking you down. A world without choice isn't a utopia. A hive mind only works with a queen that controls it. Join us or die? Well, guess what? There's a third choice. And that's fuck you! You're foolish! Yeah! But oddly admirable. It's a shame to have to lose you like this, kid. What? 
You thought that I was just flying by the seat of my pants here? I took my chip out three days ago. No matter. Yeah! You'll die today. One way or another. Hand wagon. <laughs> Sebastian, we're almost out of time. This guy's straight up Goldman from House of the Dead. Incoming massage. Basically, just cutscenes from here on out, so I'm just gonna let it play. Now you'll be safe. You did it, Myra. I knew you would. Oh man, I'm just gonna hit the button there. <laughs> hit the button, kill people. All this makes me think about is just like, man, I hope Sykes got out in time and got his chip removed. He seems like he's having a rough one. DLC callback. Ooh, that noise. Ugh. Take it easy, Sebastian. You're safe now. Lily, where's Lily? Yeah, there's a similar shot when Kidman faces down the administrator in the DLC. That's Stand just kind of like there. focused on her eye. Yeah, from the first game. Hurry! <laughs> Sebastian's been sitting in that fucking gamer milk bath for like two hours. He hasn't fucking eaten anything. <laughs> outside for real what the hell Dad, is it really you miss lily it's really me <laughs> I know, Lily, but you're awake now. The nightmare is over. There's nothing to be scared of anymore. It really is, isn't it? A 
I'm not still inside there. Just thinking I'm... What? It really is over. <laughs> Come on. Let's get the hell out of here. That's a little weird. I wonder if somebody, like, called the cops on, like, the dudes working in the apartment below us. They've been kind of loud, so maybe it's, like, a disturbing the peace sort of thing. So that's Evil Within 2, and here's the theme song of Evil Within 2, a cover of Ordinary World by Duran Duran. Um, this is by the band Hit House. Uh, it is unfortunately not available on iTunes anymore, uh, much like the theme song for the first game. And that upsets me greatly, because this is a really fucking good song. I mean, there's genuinely nothing wrong with our car. We should be fine. I just like that this song that this cover of the song has very similar like musical aesthetic and motif as like the rest of the soundtrack and even the theme from the first game. It's all just very good. It's a very good song. It's very good. This is a good game. It's a good game. People should play it. This is actually my least favorite part of the game. What, the credits? <laughs>
I too am sad that the game is over. <laughs> Think so? I just think this new metal cover of Ordinary World sucks so much ass. Oh no, this is, it's a good cover. It's fine. Alright, we're gonna go ahead and skip the rest of the credits just so we can get this final scene. Fucking sea bass out here with this dad ass denim jacket. beaten this on all difficulties then? Not all of them. I've beaten it on... I beat it on Nightmare, because I uh, streamed my whole Nightmare mode run between the first game and the second game um, to get the uh, Brass Knuckles, but I haven't beaten it on Classic mode. I think beating it on classic mode is the only achievement I have to get in this game. I mean, from what I understand, classic mode is basically this game's Akumu mode. I think this game added Akumu, didn't it? Or maybe I'm thinking that... Or maybe I'm, I might be thinking of classic, actually. But wait... Dun, dun, dun. Now you may be wondering what that means. Well, there is a line that fucking what's his butt, Ruvik, has in the first game about how there's a little piece of him and everybody that ends up connected to STEM. So. The implication seems to be is that Ruvik is now in the stem terminal that Mobius had. So Lord only knows what that's going to be, what that's going to lead to. Um, Evil Within 2 was released three years after Evil Within 1. Uh, next year is three years since the release of Evil Within 2. I am hoping we see something. I'm assuming that what we're going to end up getting is we're going to end up getting a sort of generational transition kind of game, kind of like what Evil Within 1 was between the Xbox 360 and the Xbox One, where we get something on both consoles, potentially. But we can't spike this brain into the floor. Fuck off. <laughs> It's true, we did, but technically speaking, he had already left by that point anyway. <laughs> I got 40,000 green gel! Because <laughs> I needed more, I guess. <laughs> If they fucking surprise release Evil Within 3, it will be wild. Oh, how they, like, how they surprise released Evil Within 2? <laughs> He's like, yeah, we're announcing it at E3 2017. By the way, it'll be out in, like, five months. It's <laughs> just like, fuck. So that's Evil Within 2. Um, I genuinely like Evil Within 2 much more than Evil Within 1. Like, I really liked Evil Within 1, and I still like Evil Within 1, but I can't deny that Evil Within 2 has a lot more going on for it in terms of... Uh, characterization, how the plot relates to the characters, how much, how well I understand what the fuck is going on. Um, there are some people, uh, some higher profile people than I am, let's say, who believe that Evil Within 1 is a better game. Now, I'm not saying that Evil Within 1 is a bad game, I'm just saying these people are wrong. <laughs> 
Um, Evil Within 1 does do a few things better than Evil Within 2. As I've previously stated, I like a lot of the uh, enemy designs better in Evil Within 1. Um, that is entirely on. That is almost entirely on the part of Akumi Nakamura. God bless her. Uh, she fucking brought her A game to Evil Within One. Um, but Evil Within Two, just kind of on the whole, uh, is a better narrative overall. A lot easier to follow. Not that it's not impossible to follow what's happening in Evil Within One. You just really need to like kind of pay attention to all of the files and play through the game a couple times to kind of really get a sense of what's happening. Um, and a lot of it is, to a certain extent, speculation and guesswork. Like, um, I think uh, the best friends in their playthrough of Evil Within 2 mentioned a theory that the reason that Ruvik is so easy to beat at the end of Evil Within 1 is because he's already gone. He's already left. He has attained what he was looking to do. He just doesn't fucking care anymore. You're basically fighting his afterimage. Um, which is a really interesting way of looking at that. And then there's just, like, all sorts of things. You need to play the DLC to get an idea of, like, the greater scope things that are going on. Um, which isn't a great thing in sort of the grand scheme of, like, wanting people to understand your fucking narrative. Um, but yeah, just overall, I think Evil Within 2 is just a better game. Um, and I would say that the gaming community at large generally agrees with me on that. Um, I believe this, I believe Evil Within 2 performed better critically. Uh, I'm going to look that up real quick just so I make sure that I'm not talking out of my own ass here. Uh, Evil Within 1, uh, Xbox One version was 79 out of 100 on Metacritic. Uh, let's take a look. Evil Within 2 got 80 out of a, or, yeah, 82 out of 100 on Xbox One. So, Evil Within 2 did slightly better. Um, did really good in sales, obviously. Uh, I think we're due for an Evil Within 3, for sure. Um, I just really like this game. I like this game. I like this series. I would love to see more. And hopefully we do. Hopefully we hear something about Evil Within 3 next year. Um, I know that Tango's working on uh, Ghostwire right now, so... Can't say for certain if it's something that they are actively working on, or if maybe they've got like a... B team work. I think Evil, Evil Within 2 was kind of their B team. Um, obviously, Mikami wasn't working on it. Um, I don't think... Ikumi Nakamura wasn't quite as heavily involved, from what I understand. Um, but maybe we'll hear something. Um, so that's going to be it for this stream. I want to thank everybody for coming by. I hope you all had a good time. I know I did. I apologize for kind of the technical issue that kind of necessitated us to you know, stop the stream entirely in the middle of it, and uh, then restart it. But it got us up to kind of like a four-part playthrough, which, you know, I, on, I, to a certain extent, I'm okay with that. Um, if you enjoyed this stream, you can go ahead and subscribe here on Twitch. That helps me out the most. Um, you can follow me on Twitter for future stream updates at sane, under, sane underscore intolerant. You can follow me on YouTube, where I post all the streams after they happen at youtube.com slash sanintolerant. Art for the stream was done by uh, Fenris Nishimura. You can find his work on Twitter at far, far drought, far drought. I completely neglected to ask him how that's pronounced <laughs> before I started the stream, unfortunately. So, uh, still not 100% certain on that. Um... But uh, that is on Twitter at F-A-R-D-R-A-U-T underscore. Um, his work is fantastic. 
honestly, he does great art. I highly rec recommend checking him, checking his work out. Um, if you want to help out me, Natalie, our two lovely cats, Ragnarok and Calamity, uh, you can go ahead and uh, drop us a link or drop us a donation in the link just below the stream. Um, every little bit helps. We appreciate anything that any anyone can give us, uh, especially nowadays as the holidays are ro rolling around and you know money gets a little tighter just kind of overall. Um, so yeah, uh, that's gonna be it. I'm gonna go ahead and get out of here. Stay tuned for future stream updates. Probably going to pivot back to uh, uh, Death Stranding a couple days this week. Um, not sure what I'm going to launch into next. I'm thinking it's probably going to be Sonic Adventure 2. Uh, just kind of like blast my way through that at the speed of sound. Rolling around at the speed of sound. Got places to go. Got to follow my rainbow. Can't stick around. Got to keep moving on. Guess what lies ahead? Only one way to find out. Must keep on moving. I'm going to stop right now before I go through the entire song. I want to thank you all for coming. I'll see you next time on the Shark Stream. Same Shark time, same Shark channel. Take care. <laughs>